Here he is, Mary. Maxie. Max, you just did a beautiful thing for Troy. Yes. Yeah. Presented yes. him with a 30 year gift on arrival. <laughs> I do That's have lovely. one. Thank what you, is Max. that, Max? The whale of the sky. Oh yeah, the whale, God. the A380. The, the A380, little little model. It's a, it's a, but it's a, what do they call them when they're solid? Die cast. Die cast yes. model. It's a heavy thing. It's really the heavy. whale of the sky in its yeah. own little Qantas box. I think That's great. I love don't that. Don't underestimate the aviation lovers how difficult yeah. this last week's been with yeah. aviation just copying oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 So of I know course. how Troy would be feeling about well, that. He's news pushed through. <laughs> Quite hurt. He's pushed through, man. And now he's got a model. Yeah, I yeah. love that. And Gemini Jets is a great brand as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Good <laughs> enough. It's, it's, no, it's, did you do a credit shelf. line there? <laughs> Gemini Jets, they're great. Thank you, Max. I very oh, much appreciate so that. That's very kind. kind of you. Very thoughtful. It is. It's lovely, Max. 30 years. It's 30 a long years, time. mate. In this Incredible. business is like yeah. a thousand years in yeah. normal jobs. It is, but it's, it's been fun. Pretty... I've loved every second of it. Uh, you, well, because you're brilliant. And the oh, only reason you, you last 30 years in an industry is like this is is if you're a good person. <laughs> is, is <that laughs> and why? sober, which I'm not. I'm neither of those things. I'm a bad person and I'm drunk. <laughs> no. no, you're not. But you're not. Um, mate, Max, well done. Another yes, win. We'll win. We'll yeah. win. And mate, another win. blinder for you. Fourteen sixteen hundred plays nine eight sixty two. Yeah, they kicked a few late on us, which we weren't over the moon with. I think they were sitting at five goals. I think for a lot of that third and fourth quarter. Mm. Um, no, I, th- I thought there was some outstanding efforts yesterday. We were missing Jake Lever uh, for the first time in a while, and Adam Tomlinson came in and played his role. Tom McDonald looked like the Tom McDonald of old down in the back line. Um, Christian kicked two again. Christian Salem was actually yeah. um, really, really good. Had 30-odd touches. So, Do you know I think Christian Petrarca's lost a bit of weight? Is that your – yeah. I think his bum slimmed down. And I'm not even kidding. I had a good look at his bum last night. Yeah. And when he was standing we there, don't... I thought, he's lost a bit of junk from that trunk. We don't, we don't <laughs> comment on, on people's weight. Oh, that's right. Uh, Max, <laughs> extensive <laughs> fitness test in the middle of the MCG. Yes. Uh, as you're recovering from a calf injury, any chance that you were going to miss last night? Because I think were you saying that Goody was already saying you're out? Uh, it was a, it was a weird sort of uh, day. I um I got a cork in my calf in the West Coast game, so mm. just the week before, and it just took a while to sort of get over. Um, and old, I'm sort of old in football world now, so calves can be a little bit. It's an old man's you, curse. As soon as you mm. hear it, people get a little bit mm. nervous. And I just sent a text in the morning to our. Our uh, performance saying I've woken up a little bit sore. Mm. And then fitness test, when it can't be discreet, unfortunately, because you've got to do it on the oval. Right. Like, I'm not going to do a fitness test downstairs. On in the, the sheds. In the sheds. So, not enough room. Um, I think every, everyone saw. But in my head, there was like I was playing, like no matter what. So I don't know what all the hysteria was, but in, then I'd worked out that I wasn't playing. So that's what the hysteria was. Goody had, Goody had made his sort of decision in my head that he wasn't going to risk me. Oh, jeez, uh, that's a big call. Little did he know that I sort of came back and I'm like, oh, no. It was, I'm right. Yeah, it was fine. Captain's do call. you do you regret sending that text in the morning? No, nah, because... Or is that just an honesty thing that team men do so that they're not putting anyone else out or under pressure or repercussions moving forward? The trouble you get in if you didn't let anyone know is not worth it. So you're yeah. better off letting someone know. Um, and it cleared my head a little bit as well because because you were genuinely worried. I was, I was thinking about my calf, yeah. So um, get no, through all right. Yeah, the conversation I had with Goody was hilarious. So <laughs> <laughs> I've gone out and had a really good like 10, 15 minutes with our high performance coach, and we had a great chat, positive chat. He goes, "Great, mate. You're good. You're ready. You're going." And Goody wasn't involved in that. And mm. I get downstairs, and he's obviously involved in a different conversation with the coaches about pulling me. Mm. And the first thing, like, he comes right, he gets you up right up in your face, like nose to nose sort of stuff. And he goes, mm. are you ready to perform? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, wow. yeah, like, I'm ready to get out of here. He goes, no, no, no. Are you ready to perform? Mm, I'm like, different well, and it makes you, it second yeah. guesses you. I'm like, oh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, perform you did. Well, that's all I heard in the first 10 minutes. In my, the back of my head was, good, are you ready to perform? Oh, ah. So it worked. You got yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had 27 touches, 34 hit outs. 18 contested possessions, 10 clearances, and 152 ranking points. I don't know what that means. Yeah. The most on the ground. No You're the best knows. player on the ground. No one knows what the ranking points <laughs> are. Um, but Jesus Christ, what a game. Uh, yeah, well, once I sort of got out there and um, realized I was fine and I was probably just carrying on a tiny bit, I felt pretty comfortable. And um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I obviously had some good numbers, but there was a great um, players around me. Like I said, like Christian, the two Christians. 
Um, Jacob Van Rooyen kicked three. Bailey Fritch is one of the best snappers in the game, in my mm. opinion. He kicked two genuine right foot snaps. He's a left footer. Mm. He's playing at home. Known goal kicker Stephen May drifting forward as well. Yeah. So you fun? kicked one from inside your um, what we call danger zone. Yeah, and I was thinking about that the whole time. <laughs> um, I just don't like kicking them from there. It's just something weird. Yeah. I'm really watching your tap ruck work now. Are you? I'm really watching okay. it. And what have you got for me? It's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I mean, I know I'm stating the obvious, but when you get a clean run at the ball, which is not every opportunity, your control and the way that you tap either to space for someone to run onto it or to the man is phenomenal, Max. We always worry about going delving too much into ruck work uh, at eight in the morning, but uh, um, <laughs> I, I've recently rucks have been able to grab it a lot more, and I still feel like the art of actually getting it to your midfielder is a much better clearance. Um, so it's something that I continually work on, and I'd much rather have happened that me lacing out Jack Viney with a hit out rather than me grabbing it and kicking it 20 mm. metres blind. I did see you grab it and handball it yesterday, too, which I thought trying was... to find my teammates a little bit more. That if was I grab good, it. yes. Mm. Um, you're on fire, no doubt. Um, you're you're a lovely man. It's a wonderful <laughs> great for the country. Mate. Yeah. 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 yeah, bloody you an Anzac. <laughs> great job. You're Australia's <laughs> captain. Great. Yeah. You're, a, you're my captain. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm happy to be led by you. Thank you. We'll come back and talk. Yeah. <laughs> Max, go on with us. Belter against St Kilda. Who nine eight sixty two. Uh, surely, <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, I've changed my attitude to Ross Lyon, but they must be starting. There must be some conversations going on there, William. I would have thought. I would imagine stuck mm. in fifteenth. Yeah, uh, they are. I mean, they, what do you they, think? They're, they're, they're normally, and they, to be fair, they were yesterday as well. They're, they're very hard to score against. Mm. Um, we kicked six, sort of, in like a real short period. So the, the defence must have just fallen away, or we. Um, were able to uh, um, attack better, um, but they were still very hard to score against. But you kicked 14-16, Max. I mean, you could have kicked 20. Yeah, I kicked one on the full, actually, from my distance, from 60. Oh, yeah, the I, was on the, I was on the wrong angle. Ah. I was on the far, the bad side of the right footer. You, you used the license and <laughs> your foot let you down. It did. Yeah, it well, did. that's going to happen. I hope mate. it doesn't mean revoked. No. Yeah. No. No one's taking your license away. Thank you. That is not happening. On um, a serious note, though, just because Maxie's alluded to the fact that you might only have two years, that you, in your words, I think you've said that, but you feel like you're in career best form at the moment. Do you feel like you're buying extra time in your career based on how well you're playing? Uh, yeah, our industry, you just can't get 30 years out, Troy, unfortunately. No, I know. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. sort of around the 16, 17 yeah. years is max. Yeah. Um, I'm at 15 now, I think, 15 years. And I I mean, the last three years I've shared the ruck um, with Luke. Did that help? Well, maybe subconsciously it could be because I'm, 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 I'm feeling pretty good in the middle part of the year. Although I had a fitness test yesterday to get up. But um, I, I mean, I, I, I think I'm playing the footy I always have. Maybe just having more um, exposure in the ruck over the last four years might be mm -hmm. highlighting the fact. But um, yeah, it could maybe the fact I've been resting forward for the last three years might be. Well, see, I, I, do, I don't think I've ever really realized how much ground you're covering. It's a lot. It's, the ruck roll is a lot. I, uh, there's a guy, Adelaide Riley O'Brien, who's been rucking by himself for, I reckon, six years. Yeah. And he, he just must be cooked. Like, I've, yeah. I've His been, fitness would just be elite. He's, yeah, he's, a, really, is he's a really fit um, player, um, but he just must be getting cooked. He's literally been doing it by himself for six years. Not, not, not even a forward ruck really out there helping him. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Um, Ed Langdon uh, yes. returned to Melbourne uh, yesterday after missing a week to visit the UK for his sister's wedding. Simon Goodwin defended the decision this week. That was something we're really passionate about, about family being a priority. We won't compromise on that. I like that. I like that as well. I don't think the world stops f f for every occasion and there'll be people in their cars yeah. screaming, it's a workplace, it's a job, they're well paid. They're so well so paid. what? They're also humans mm. who, you know, have needs and wants and desires and one of them is to be a part of your sister's wedding. Yeah, and I mean, different, I mean, we obviously get, two months leave at the end of the year, but we can't ever take leave during our time at the club. Of course. Um, mm. Obviously for mental health and um, paternity, that's a, that, that, that's a thing now. And Is it? Yeah. But, uh, well, you can have a couple of days off, I, I, dare, I dare say. Stephen oh. Mays is coming around the first week of finals. So that'll be an interesting chat. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How long does Stephen get to spend with his newborn? <laughs> About four hours. Uh, but Ed, <laughs> Ed, was M, Ed was MC of his, of his sister's wedding. Yeah, um, and he would have had a lovely time. And it was more about how important it meant for him. So yeah. it wasn't like, I mean, 
I'm trying to think if my brother, oh, my brother's obviously, yeah, bad example. But some people who might not be as close or um, don't want to necessarily travel, or you, you, sure. can, you can see that. There's but plenty Ed, of reasons why you wouldn't go yeah. to your sister's wedding in the UK. Ed made it really, like, this is an important thing for me to do. Um, and we're big on that. It makes him a better person. Um, and he came back and played his role. He actually finished on the bench. There was a few of us that finished on the bench. Mm. Um, Jack Viney got a corky at the start of the game. I had my calf. Um, Christian Salem um, just spent the last five minutes off for the, and then Ed. So I'm thinking we've all got sort of a reason. And then Ed, oh yeah, jet lag. So he's <laughs> he's probably just feeling a bit of jet lag. Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. I don't reckon anyone's played after a London flight five days later. <laughs> no, Sub, no. Jet lag. on a five day break. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't. We just had a look at it. Then uh, William just showed me the free kick to Fremantle in front of goal versus Collingwood for time wasting, which was one Collingwood footballer throwing the ball to another Collingwood footballer instead of throwing it straight to the umpire for a, uh, for a throw-up in that situation, a free kick awarded to the uh, Fremantle Ruckman. It looked pretty ridiculous to be giving it a free. It's 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 not great vision. I agree with that. It looks like it's just very mundane, like a normal thing has happened and it's weirdly been picked out. But I do know that's a rule. Mm. Um, I'm around the stoppage a lot, of so course. I see it. So you you would see it a lot, and I suppose you would see it go unpenalised a lot as well. You do. Um, a lot of, I mean, the ball that gets left on the ground, or like you drop the ball, that happens a bit. Um, you're allowed to do that. Yeah, I think I'm I, I'm unsure about that one. If you're, in the, I can't drop it if I'm clearly holding it. I don't think, can I? I think you can. Yeah, right. I'll, I think it's literally. Do you want me to try it? <laughs> <laughs> try it. I just check <laughs> first. Don't yeah, take yeah, Will's check. word for yeah. it. No, no. Just he's, not, he's not an AFL player. Yeah. Um, you check. <laughs> a lot of hysteria about this, and I don't think it's as big of a deal. I just think it seems really petty. And, and it's another one of those ones for umpires where if you don't get every single one of them, don't get one of them. Mm. Yeah. That, but that, yeah, I mean, they've got to get all umpires unified, uh, unified or united. Because the, the one you get is 20 metres <laughs> out. Yeah, they, that's... You know what I mean? It's like, it's pretty dude, unlucky. Pretty unlucky for Collingwood in that exact situation. But there's but anal free, referees as well. You it know, is a free kick. <laughs> is there? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> there's sport. definitely umpires that are anal. <laughs> and they love being anal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to get it right. Maxie's top five. Maxie's top five. Before we do, oh, I, I, yeah. no, that's all right. I'll stop it. Oh, good. Yeah. I just want to talk Sydney because okay. I love John Longmire. Okay. Obvious reasons. Yeah. Absolutely love him. Sydney are having the most dominant start to a season in the modern era. He's before my era. What was he? He was a the full horse. forward who yeah. kicked 100 goals. Yeah, he was brilliant. 19 year old. Won a flag with us. The star? Yeah, yeah, the horse. Yeah, so star? Yeah. Okay. Him and, and him and Duck at the same time? Yep. Okay. And big turning circle. They were all there. Mick Martin, it was that whole generation. They were just wonderful. Yep. Glenn Archer. Um, Sydney's start to the year is just extraordinary. They're six points clear on top of the ladder with a percentage almost 30% bigger than the next best side. Yeah, they're going extremely well. Geez, um, they're up and about. When have you got them? Uh, we had them round one and never... Never and again. never again? Never again. Good. Uh, Till well, grand final hopefully day. at some point. Hey. Like it. Hey, <laughs> um, no, they, sorry, round zero. Yeah, it was uh, opening round, yeah. Oh, round going. zero. <laughs> that could shove itself up its date too. <laughs> Is, are we doing round zero next year? Uh, I mean, I love the concept. I didn't like losing. Um, no. But, yeah, no, Sydney are going really well. It's, it's really important that you're going well at the end of the year, but they're showing all things that they'll be going well throughout mm. the whole year. We were 12-0. and 0, uh, after winning the flag, or eleven and zero after winning the flag, that's right. And, that's right. and then we went out in straight set. So mm. it's pretty. It's really important to get going for the back end, but it doesn't. It certainly doesn't hurt being ten and one if a percentage nah. almost double everyone else. Yeah. Um. All right. It's time for Max's top five. Yes. 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 Max has brought a list in. My top five. We got the top five. The top five. Max Horn's top five. Let's go through it. What do you got for us, Max? What's our top five today? Well, I, I sort of came with two, but you guys have leaned, leaned me towards one. Oh. Yeah. Um, obviously, you don't want to just keep smacking out top fives. No, you don't <laughs> want to burn them all, don't mate, burn. unless you have to. So this is realistic options for grand final ent entertainment. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Because I've been lucky enough uh, recently to have seen Robbie Williams, and I saw yeah. some of Kiss, Kiss. before yeah, I Kiss. had to leave Kiss. early. Yeah. 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 Oh, you, yeah. you were definitely there for Kiss. I was there for yeah. Kiss. You had a bathroom I break. I think <laughs> they were on. <laughs> they were. Yeah, they were. They both great. Right, both I, wonderful. <laughs> and I've taken into uh, consideration what station I'm on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well. okay good. Yeah. Okay. So you're not suggesting Aqua? No, and no. not. Uh, <laughs> the, the Is Kath anyone? Kath and Kim had a go at one point, didn't they? Yes, they had yeah, done they it did. with someone. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Early 2000s. 
Yeah. yeah. Meat, right. Obviously meat loaf, but none of them. Okay. Right. So, who you got? He's so five, five is Foo Fighters. Cause it's, oh, my God. Mate, yeah, they get, get the Fooies. They get played every half an hour on this station. They, so. they do it too. Oh, of course they I do. think they're realistic. They come to Australia Ab- every two years. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Mate, I think that's there. realistic. I, mean, I think that's realistic as well. Number Four. five seems a bit. Yeah. So I, well, I you get to a bit of a vibe of what music I like better oh, as yeah. it gets on. Four is Coldplay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, they are here in November. Yeah, yeah. I think that's really realistic. Oh, We're my going. God. I think maybe. someone should send them a text. Yeah. I think mm. maybe they've already been sent a text. Maybe. Good job, because they would also do it. Of course they yeah. would. Chris Martin. Yeah. He loves. He loves. He loves doing that stuff. He loves. Fair yeah. trade. He, he loves. loves. He loves coffee beans bought from the right part of the world. He gets the oh, AFL. Loves stadiums. Are you so. going to the concert? I am planning. If I'm not away. Because uh, oh, it's yeah. a very away time. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, but yes, love, love, love oh Coldplay. Oh, my God. Coldplay. Coldplay. Um, Three is the, as realistic, but not as good as Coldplay okay. and Food Fighters, but as realistic as we get. Like a little trio of Aussie... Um, house music from back in the day of oh. Penal, MGMT, <gasps> Empire of the Sun. <gasps> That's Bam! really clever. Oh, wow. yeah, I don't think Empire yeah. of the Sun are o- o- Aussie, but the other two are. A mega mix. No, Empire of the they Sun are, are Aussie. They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really smart. Like when there was the R and B trio, well, yeah. more than trio at the Super Bowl. Dre and Snoop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see Aussie, what you're heading into. Trio. You're heading into like. One of those medleys. Yeah. That stage there. Yeah. That yeah. stage yeah. there. Yes. That stage there. Up they pop. Yep. Uh, two is is Rufus. Oh, oh my Rufus god. Rufus Wayne, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Rufus. I just, they're not as good as uh, some of the people that I've been talking about, but I just feel like they play every year in Australia. And they can really play a nice show. Mm-hmm. Are Rufus. we talking Rufus Wainwright? No, 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 no. no different. No, this is That's a, Martha Wainwright's my, brother. Yeah, my generation, Rufus. Yeah. You know uh, Rufus. Rufus Dussel. Okay, yeah. I'm not au fait with Rufus, yeah. but geez, I, I'm going to check it out now. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've lost a few on that, are, that are listening with that, putting sure. them ahead of Foo Fighters and Coldplay. Yeah, but it's your list. And it's more it's your realistic. Five, mate. Yeah. It's, it's a great five. shout, Rufus. Absolutely. And number one is... Um, Mumford and Sons. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. wonderful! Yeah. Simply have, because it's the best live this. act I've ever seen. Really? You have dinged yeah. this out of the park. Yeah. This oh. is go and find it in the car this? park stuff. Did you see them at Sydney Mine? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable live. Yeah. Well, you know, one of them recovered from serious cancer. The bass player. Yeah, I wasn't fully aware of that. No, no, but it's good to know yeah, now going know. forward. So, but the bass player so will be They've there. got a couple of real fighters in the yeah. squad. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> one of the great top five I've lot. ever been a part that of. That was amazing. Yeah. And it could all happen. And it's realistic. Yeah, it's exactly. all realistic. All five, yeah. especially here in the bass players, back up and going. They're yeah. all realistic. Mate, they're all realistic. <laughs> Rufus, I'm going to have to do a little digging around on. Yeah, but probably, other than probably, that, you'll love it. Probably mate. a bit high, Rufus. Yeah. When are we seeing you? Thursday or uh, Friday? Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday. Beautiful, Max. Friday. Well done. Right, we'll chat to you then. Uh, you got a closer now for this too. Let's Ooh. have a listen to that. That was Max Gorn's Top 5. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the Marty Sheargold Show.